Hey guys, Cube Hamster here and welcome to a new Redstone video. Uh, this is just a small follow-up on the previous video I released a couple days ago. Um, it is uh, the uh, start-stop flying machine that we used in the uh, movable or yeah, movable feed tape. Um, it used the uh, active flying mechanics that uh, Pi showed in his video. I, I just think it's really uh, useful and uh, nifty because it's so small. Um, and also easily customizable. To get a, a flying machine that you can easily start and stop. Uh, when I say easy, it kind of depends on the speed it's running at. Uh, I'm running it at like the fastest speed you can get it, which makes it a little bit harder to stop. You have to time it perfectly like that. I actually am surprised I nailed that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's just a little a little flying machine that you can trigger and can customize and it's uh, it's really small um, but basically what is going on just a quick explanation um, this is a normal piston facing forward and it is trying desperately hard to push uh, a lot of the blocks you see here right now um, it's actually trying to push 13 which is one block over the push limit and by uh, um, activating the observer block in the front here, I can uh, remove the block, uh, bringing the total amount that the piston is trying to push back down to 12, uh, which allows the, the flying machine to, uh, to continue pushing. Um, now, if you, if you haven't watched the active flying video from Pi, uh, what's basically going on is that there is a observer clock. Uh, when you place observers like this, they constantly like give out a little pulse and this thing is constantly updating or yeah changing the block state of uh, or trying to change the block state of the the piston here uh, going through the block and seeing as this piston is diagonal to uh, redstone it is butted and when it receives an update similar to placing a block block next to it um, that is supposed to extend it but it can't now because uh, the flying machine is or the piston is trying to push 13 blocks. And by uh, by moving this out of the way, um, which is also kind of like nifty, we super, I like, I super stumbled upon this by accident. Um, but you get this cool little caterpillar at the front where whenever it pushes the observer that I'm looking at right now forward, it, 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 it extends the sticker piston uh, to push these two blocks forward. But as it does, it gives this observer block an update, which is pulling it uh, out of the uh, the big chunk of blocks here, making it so that the piston never has to push more than 12 blocks. But, uh, there we go. Um, yeah, that is kind of basically what is going on. And the, the way you can extend this and essentially make the flying machine slower is by, um, removing this block and then uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a bunch of sticky pistons uh, combined with observer blocks facing the direction that you're you're looking at right now and then at some point you you can be happy with what you have and place a thingy here uh, actually this is supposed to be a slime block and then you just have a bunch of uh, terracotta blocks which can be put next to the slime blocks without interfering and what this does is uh, just add a whole bunch of delay to your flying machine I mean it makes it bigger but that's kind of expected when when you're trying to make a slower engine also this makes it extremely reliable to stop it uh, like you have you have an incredibly long time spent to, uh, to activate the, the button. And um, like I'm activating it manually now, but I, I hope you can imagine if, uh, if there is a, a block here, um, if at any point I send a signal to remove this block, move it forward, that would be a way of automatically triggering the stop mechanism, which is kind of what I'm trying to go for with all the feed tape stuff. Um, so that's the next plan. The, the, like we have this now, 
uh, we're going to use the uh, the feed tape and we're going to use it combine it with the feed tape from a year ago the one that is a moving feed tape and then uh, hopefully we'll have a flying machine that stops by itself after a set amount of steps and then after standing still for a little bit starts itself up again but yeah um, I'm not going to do like a, a block placing tutorial here is literally what you see you can see the observer blocks it is not extremely complicated and you can probably like come up with your own versions of this as well but I just thought it was uh, an interesting thing also just kind of because we I stumbled upon the the sticky piston behavior at the front there by accident which is always uh, a good thing when you're derping around when you just find some something <laughs> that I would not have come up with this myself had it not happened by accident, where I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see where this is going. This is definitely going somewhere. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.